Hi, this is Glenn White with Eurosafety. In today's tutorial, I'd like to talk about the indications you would get on the AS350 and the EC130 models of helicopters if you were to have an engine oil pressure failure. To highlight this discussion, we're going to talk about an accident that occurred in Canton, Mississippi on an AS350 B2 BEMD. In this particular case, the oil in the engine was routed into the exhaust. Uh, this was due to the fact that the oil line was blocked and all the oil eventually made its way out of the helicopter. So when the indications occurred in the cockpit, there was no oil left in the helicopter. The oil pressure gauge went down low, the engine P light came on, and since it was a B2, the FLI went away and the uh, torque gauge went down low. Now in the B3 and the 130 models of helicopters, those helicopters utilize the twisting of the transmission shaft to get the torque indication. So we're going to leave that portion of the discussion aside for right now and just concentrate on the gauge and the light. So with the gauge at a low value and the light on, this would give us an indication that we lost engine oil pressure. The pilot in this particular case analyzed this as an erroneous indication because the engine oil temperature was not going up. Now in ground school, that's the number one answer I get when I ask what is the secondary indication of an engine oil pressure problem with either the gauge or the light. The student often indicates that they would analyze the engine oil temperature gauge to see if the temperature would go up. Now I think this is a transference from our cars, whereas if we have a loss of oil pressure in our car, the temperature goes up. Of course, that's the temperature of the coolant, not the oil. So since there's a uh, lack of flow of oil, the oil temperature should actually go down not up since it's not going over any hot gears in order to heat it up. The oil itself is kept in a reservoir next to the transmission. So if there was a pump failure, for instance, and the flow of oil stopped, causing the light to illuminate and the gauge to go down low, it would be sitting there next to the transmission. The oil temperature sensor for the B2, uh, the B32B, the B3, 2B1, and the EC130, uh, B4, is located at the outlet of the oil reservoir. So the oil temperature is of oil that is quite far away from the engine, if you think about it. Now, if we look at the indicators on the uh, B3E and the uh, 130T2, it utilizes an oil pressure sensor on the inlet of the oil filter and a uh, engine pressure temperature uh, transmitter on the outlet. Those two indications go to the FADEC and then the FADEC displays its information on the VEMD. But still, since there is a lack of flow of oil, uh, the temperature should not go up. I hope this clarifies any misunderstandings about the oil pressure indications on your AS350s and EC130s, and we'll see you at the next Euro Safety tutorial.